Hello everyone, it is our pleasure to share our work, a practical key recovery attack on 805 round GVM here. In the following, we shall introduce our work from the following five aspects. GVM is a bit oriented string cipher designed by Christophe de Canel and Bart Prenil. It was selected as one of the extreme hardware oriented finalists and it was specified as an international standard under RSO IEC. Both the key size and the RV size are 8 bits. It contains a 288 bit internal state. The number of initialization runs is 1152. This figure shows an overview of Trivium. And the pseudo code of Trivium is shown as follows. The cube attack, which was first proposed by Dina and Shamir, is one of the most important cryptanalysis techniques against Trivium. Since proposed, cube attacks attract many attentions and lots of good ideas such as Mobius transformation, division property, and correlation cube attacks were proposed to improve cube attacks. In the following, we shall introduce the basics of cube attacks. Let f be an invariable Boolean function and i be a subset of variable indexes. Then f could be written as following. The polynomial pi is called the superpoly of i in f. A d-dimensional cube ci is a set of assignments consisting of 2 to the power d n tuples in which the variables indexed by i are assigned to all the possible combinations of 0 or 1 while the other variables remain undetermined. Then, pi is equal to the summation of function derived by each element in ci. Note that to evaluate pi, 2 to the power d summations are always needed. For stream ciphers, the function f is the polynomial representation of the first order key string bit on the key and iv variables. Let i be a subset of iv indexes and d be the order of set i. Let the ci be a set of assignments of iv variables consisting of 2 to the power d and tuples in which the variables indexed by i are assigned to the all the possible combination of 0 or 1, while the other i variables are assigned to 0 or fixed constant. Then, the superpoly of rf, which is equal to the summation of functions derived by elements of in ci, is a function on key variable. There were two phases in cube attacks. The first phase is offline phase, which is independent of a secret key. During this phase, the aim is to find some useful possible polys in secret key variables. The second phase is online phase. In this phase, the task is to solve a system of equations defined by superpolys under the secret key. Traditionally, low-degree tests such as BLR linearity tests and quadratic tests are used to find balanced superpolys containing secret key information. In FSC 2013, Fork and Vanit used the Mobius transformation to simultaneously compute a large number of subcubes from a large cube. Given the choose table of a Boolean function, one could compute its algebraic normal form by using Mobius, Mobius transformation. When it comes to cube attacks, under any specific key, by storing the value of f on all 
elements of Ci, one could compute the ANF of F on variables in I. It was noting that much memory is needed to store the truth table for a large cube. Division property is an important improvement on cube attacks. Division property was proposed by Toto at EuroCrypt 2015 as a generalization of integral property used in integral crypt analysis against the block ciphers. Later, the bit based division property as well as the three subset division property was introduced by Toto and Miro at FSE 2016 to search new integral distinguishing for Simon family. Division property based cube attacks were first proposed by Toto et Serret at Crypto 2017. It breaks the limitation of traditional cube attacks where the cube dimension could hardly be larger than 40. For example, 78 dimensional cubes could be exploited in division property based cube attacks. The definition of bit based division property was shown as follows. In the paper published in Crypto 2015 and FSE 2016, Toto and Moro studied the propagation rules of division property for basic operations and XOR and copy. Furthermore, for an around cipher, the propagation of a division property could be evaluated by figuring out the division property of internal states. Then, the concept of division trail was proposed, which could propagate through the whole around the cipher. The detailed definition is shown in our slide. At ACA Crypt 2016, Xiang et Sirius showed that the propagation could be efficiently evaluated by using MRP models. More particularly, an MRP model covers all division trails and the solver evaluates the feasibility whether there are division trails from the input division property to the output one or not. Based on division property, one at zero to propose a degree evaluation method which could estimate the upper bound of the degree of superpolis. According to the proposition proposed by one at zero, if there is D such that all K lambda with Hemi weight larger than D, the division trail X superscript K lambda does not exist. Then it can be seen that D is an upper bound of the algebraic degree of the superpoly. Now we are going to introduce our work. In cube attacks, finding cube which would lead to Useful superpolis is a critical but a difficult task. Previously, some ideas were proposed to find or construct such cubes. In 2009, Dina and Shamil proposed a random work algorithm to find cubes with linear superpolis. Later, in 2013, Volk and Vanit presented a method where two Disjoint the small cubes are unioned to find linear superpolis. When it comes to find the cubes leading to zero sum distinguisher, selecting cubes with no adjacent indexes and greedy bit side algorithm was proposed. Our aim is to construct the cu good cubes for recovering linear superpolis. To achieve our aim, we find the inspiration from grid bit set algorithm. Namely, our solution is starting from a set of cube variables indexes and extending it to a large candidate cube indexes. Then, there are two critical problems to be solved. First, 
how to determine a proper set of cube variables indexed by i. Second, how to extend i to be a large candidate cube indexes. We shall first introduce how to solve the second problem. We propose a two-stage method to extend i. The figure shows an overview of our method. More specifically, steep IV variables and gentle IV variables are picked in the two different stages. In stage 1, every time, add a steep IV variables to decrease the degree of superpoly as fast as possible. In stage 2, to make the degree of superpoly close to 1, we pick up a gentle IV variables in each iteration. Now, the only left problem is how to determine a good standard cube set. Note that the output function of Trivium is linear, which is shown in our slide. If a cube C has a linear superpoly, then it is very likely one of the six terms contribu contributes the linear superpoly, and the other five terms contribute the constant zero. Namely, we shall only focus on one of the six internal state bits appeared in the output function. Take the first one as an example. According to the fig feedback function of Trivium, it could be expressed as follows. Our idea is focusing on the two-degree term in this expression. More particularly, we choose a set of cube variables indexed by i and search some of its subcubes to find a cube with linear superpolis either in the blue internal state or the red one. Such cubes is determined as a starting set cube set. So then the problem turns into how to pick up a proper internal state from the six internal state bits in the output function. Since the output function is a summation of six internal state bits, the superpoly of i in z could take them apart into six ones. Note that a linear superpoly usually has only one term, say, pi is equal to kj, one of the six superpolys is equal to kj. Hence, for a given r, it is necessary to predict the key with a large success, pro success property, such that a linear superpoly in zr implies a linear superpoly in skr. In our paper, skr is called the preference bit. To predict the preference bit, our main idea is to predict the number of terms in the form of Ti times Kj, which are called VK terms in the six internal state bits. However, it is difficult to make such prediction directly. Our solution is exploiting the feedback function of Trivium to predict the number of VK terms iteratively. We shall take S94 as an example. The feedback function of S94 is shown in the slide. Let VKS be the number of VK terms in S. The number of pure RV terms in S is denoted by Vs. Then, the number of VK terms in S94 could be predicted as the equation at the bottom of our slides. The key point is to predict the terms in red. Considering the property of Boolean function, we predict the number of VK terms as following. 
Finally, we used the equation in red to predict the number of weekly terms in S94. Based on the above method, we propose algorithm 4, which could iteratively predict the number of weekly terms, so that the preference bit could be predicted. Another contribution of this paper is the improved Mobius transformation. As mentioned before, the advantage of Mobius transformation is that it could compute a large number of subcubes from a large cube simultaneously. However, the weakness is that much memory is needed to store the truth table for a large cube. Hence, our aim is testing a large number of subcubes from a large cube simultaneously with reasonable memory. Let f be a Boolean function on n variables. Our idea is breaking the original Mobius transformation into a two-stage one to recover a part of ANF of f. In the first stage, we calculate g0, g1, tog 2 to the power q, minus 1 and keep a part of their information. In the second stage, we recover ANF of f according to the capital information. Algorithm 5 shows the details of our improved Mobius transformation. The memory complexity of algorithm 5 is consists of two parts. First, the size of S is 2 to the power n minus q, and so it costs 2 to the power n minus q bit memory. Second, for hj, the size of sfj is t, and so it requires 2 to the power q times t bit memory totally. When t is much less than 2 to the power n minus q, the memory complexity of our improved Mobius transformation is much less than that of the original Mobius transformation. With all the, with all the above methods, we make application to 805 round trivium. First, the preference bit to find the linear superpoly is S. 66. Second, we choose cubes of size 22 and use the Mobius transformation to find a proper cube I1 as our start cube set. In the first stage, we, ex we extend I1 by adding steep IV variables and we obtain a cube of size 34. In the second stage, we start with i sun and keep up four variables, as such that the degree of superpolis are less than four in the last iteration. Finally, i4 of size 40 is a candidate large cube, which is given in the slide. Together with some other candidate cubes, we find more than 1,000 cubes with linear superpolis in the output of 805 round trivium. There are 38 independent linear superpolis. What's more, we also find 16 linear superpolis for 806 round trivium. These are a part of a linear superpolis of 805 round trivium. These are a part of a linear superpolis of 806 round trivium. We summarize the key recovery attacks on trivium. Note that the previous best practical attack is on 784 round trivium, proposed by Volk and Vanit. In this report, the best practical key recovery attacks are improved 21 rounds to 805 round trivium. What's more, we apply our method to 800 round trivium, where a candidate cube of size 43 is constructed and two subcubes of 
42 with linear superpolis are found. Now we shall make a brief conclusion of our work. In this paper, we introduce a new algorithm to construct the good cubes and apply it to 805 round trivium. More specifically, a new algorithm to construct candidate cubes the preference bit and an algorithm to predict it and the improve the Mobius transformation were presented. Hopefully, we believe that the new algorithm could also be applied to Juvenile-like ciphers. Thanks for your attention.